Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here with a video. This one's gonna get a little bit interesting to you, or might be interesting. Let's just say that an adult website, you already can see it in the video, but I'll just say blank hub, since I'm not gonna say the actual word, since some YouTubers tend to censor out words, just avoid being demonetized, since some are scared that they say the word, they get demonetized or face punishment for saying the word. But this is written by Bleeping Computer, and I'm going to say that Blank Hub blocks North Carolina, Montana over new age verification laws by Lawrence Abrams, January 3rd, 2024 at 12.55 p.m. Adult media giant ALO has blocked access to many of its websites, including Blank Hub, to visit to visitors from Montana and North Carolina as new age verification laws go into effect. This move also impacts other adult sites owned by the company, including Let's just say blank and blank and blank. As of January 1st, new age verification laws went into effect in Montana and North Carolina that require adult websites to verify the age of visitors from those states. Under these, these new laws, failure to, re, to use reasonable age verification services could cause the company to be liable to lawsuits from individuals. A commercial entity that knowingly and intentionally publishes or distributes material harmful to minors on the internet from a website that contains a substantial portion of the material must be held liable if the entity fails to perform reasonable age verification methods to verify the age of individuals attempting access to material reads Montana's Bill 544. An amendment to North Carolina's House Bill 8 also contains similar language warning that parents could be bringing a civil action against the companies. Similar age verification bills are adopted in Utah, Virginia, Arkansas, Mississippi, Texas over the past year with a federal judge later striking down Texas bill. Visiting ALO sites from one of these states now displays a video with adult film star Sherry DeVille reading an enclosed statement from ALO. It says here, As you may know, your elected officials in Utah are requiring us to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. While safety and compliance are at the forefront of our mission, Giving your ID card every time you want to visit an adult platform is not the most effective solution for protecting our users and, in fact, will put children and your privacy at risk, reads a portion of ALO's statement. <clears throat> in addition, mandating age verification without proper enforcement gives platforms the opportunity to choose to whether or not to comply. As we've seen in other states, this just drives traffic to sites with far less fewer safety measures in place. Very few sites are able to compare to the robust trust and safety measures we currently have in place. To protect children and user privacy, any legislation must be enforced against all platforms offering adult content. These laws have been shown to push the people and impact the states to purchase VPNs to bypass restrictions by adult sites. The R Street Think Tank says that this could cause adult sites to block VPN traffic as they could still be liable under state laws. For example, in order to ensure perfect compliance with Utah's law, platforms would have to treat all VPN users as Utah residents or block VPNs completely, it reads an article on R Street. Not only does the law not specifically exempt VPN traffic, it says a, a social media company shall not permit a Utah minor account holder to change or bypass restrictions on access as required by this section. However, this could lead to users to switch to less known and likely riskier VPN products that are not well as well as detected, but may bring additional risk. Last month, fake Chrome VPN browser extensions were found installed 1.5 million times to hijack user search results of affiliate links. Threat actors are also known to use fake VPN applications to push information stealing malware and mobile backdoors, putting users' accounts at risk. I think this is very stupid for... Um... I think this is very stupid to throw in age restrictions on adult websites in a way because there's people can still bypass them, but to be fair, I find it's I find it's a good oh I'm gonna try this again.